You want to know how novations work in a real estate deal? Stay tuned and I'll teach you how. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Graylin Stewart. I am a virtual wholesaler, entrepreneur, real estate investor in general. Thanks for joining me. If you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you stay the whole time, definitely show me some love. I'd appreciate that. But today I'm going to talk about how novations actually work. You've probably heard me talk about novations a couple of times over the last couple of months. So I started doing uh, novations probably mid-2021. Um, and really what it does and how it works is is not too much more difficult than a traditional retail deal or a traditional wholesale deal. So the whole thing is just knowledge, right? Um, you know, like the old saying goes, you don't know what you don't know. So I'm going to tell you about innovations. If you've never heard of it, uh, stay tuned for sure. Um, if you have, I'm going to kind of enlighten you a little bit more. So um, the beauty of innovations, though, what I like to call it and how I like to explain it is really it's a hybrid. It's kind of a hybrid between a normal realtor MLS retail deal, okay? Just like you would have with a realtor list the deal. It's a hybrid between that and a traditional wholesale deal, okay? So obviously retail, it's a perfect house going on the market with a realtor hoping to get top dollar, right? And then wholesale is somebody like us or me that gets a deal with a seller off market and tries to assign that contract to an end buyer. So the reason I say it's kind of a hybrid because we're sort of doing both because in a traditional wholesale deal, we typically cover all the fees and everything involved um, as far as cost goes. And the number we, we kind of give the seller is typically the, their take home number, okay? If we're telling them we're gonna buy their house for 50 grand, that's pretty much what they get to walk away with. On a retail deal, if a realtor lists it for 50 grand, they might end up selling it for 45, then they've got commissions and fees coming out of that. So they might walk away with 40 in that scenario, okay? So here's why it's a hybrid and here's kind of how it works. So when you're doing novations, we're getting three contracts um, total. Uh, you're getting two of them up front, okay? You're getting your normal purchase and sale agreement. You're also getting, um, well actually you're getting, you're getting four total, three up front, and one kind of comes towards the end of the transaction. But so you're getting your traditional purchase and sale agreement, any of them will work. You're getting a novation agreement, just notifying, it really just notifies them that, hey, we're gonna actually list this on the MLS. We're giving, we're being totally upfront with them. We're not the buyer for this, but we have buyers, or we're gonna find some on the MLS. And I'll get into why they would do this in a second. Um, but you're being totally upfront, um, you know. We're going to give you your price that you asked for. You know, it's, it's a little bit too high for us to buy cash, but we can give you that price if you give us a little bit more time and, um, and just be willing to work with us a little bit with showings and things like that. So anyways, uh, you're getting the purchase and sale agreement, novation agreement. You're also getting um, an attorney in fact agreement, which is also the same thing as a power of attorney, basically. It just gives you the rights to sign on their behalf on that particular property not their whole life and medical nothing like that just for that property okay um, and it's super non-invasive the the form doesn't say attorney in fact it's just another form it just says the attorney in fact verbiage in the actual agreement so when we send these agreements my agreement is is a click of a button through my podio um, but it's all done via DocuSign okay it's integrated in but it's all one agreement so we have two buttons in my podio one of them is a wholesale deal, one of them is a novation deal. So whatever button my acquisition manager chooses, that's the one that it's going to trigger, okay? So it's going to it's going to all come on one form, okay? It's going to have my purchase agreement, the novation agreement, and the attorney in fact, all in one form. So that all they have to do is just click and sign like normal, okay? We stay on the phone and explain if they have any questions and things like that. But here's how it's the hybrid, okay? So we're going to actually list this house. So let me backtrack just a little bit. When you do a novation deals, they're typically a little bit of a nicer house, okay? These aren't your traditional junker houses or hoarder houses or houses that need tons of work, okay? These sometimes do need some work, but they're typically a little bit nicer um, 
or they need just minor repairs. It's more of a lipstick kind of a kind of a deal. It's it's basically move in ready with a couple of improvements. It's kind of the best way to explain it, I guess. Um, so the reason that Novations work is uh, these are deals that we normally would have thrown in the trash if they if they don't take us up on a creative finance deal, which a lot of them don't typically don't because um, they want to be out of the loan or they don't want to finance the loan, whatever it is, um, we typically throw that away or try to talk them into, hey, I'll give it to my realtor. Maybe you get a little fee on the end, which doesn't always work out great either. Uh, but Novations, it just brings you another tool in your tool belt uh, to where you can actually make money to where you normally would have thrown that lead away. Um, and I'll do a case study on one uh, very soon because we just closed on another one a couple of days ago. Um, just to kind of give you the breakdown of it and how it went about and everything. But um, so the reason it's a hybrid is we're telling the customer up front, we are listing this on the MLS. We do have a pool of cash buyers we'll look at. It doesn't work for us as a cash deal, but you never know. We will send it out to our friends and see if they're interested. Um, but we are going to listen on the MLS, hopefully, to get an end buyer or retail buyer out there. Now, keep in mind, Mr. Customer, uh, the benefit to you is we handle everything. You're going to get your fifty thousand dollars as promised um, now there's going to be realtor fees on the back end there's going to be all kinds of closing costs and title fees there's also probably going to be repairs that we're going to have to do after inspections and there's going to be the inspection process and all those kind of things so don't worry about any of that we're going to take care of all of it and we're paying for it all so that comes out of our pocket okay you're going to get your 50. so that's how you kind of explain that uh, we call it our concierge service because Really, that's what it is. It's a service. They're listening on the traditional market just like normal, but it's a hybrid because we're paying all the fees, um, so it's still working like that. But you just have to make sure there's still enough meat on the bone. But that fifty thousand dollar house that we're paying, um, maybe it's worth seventy five. So normally we would need to be, you know, whatever that is, thirty five thousand or whatever. Um, but it would work on a novation deal at fifty because once we pay commissions, fees, potential repairs, and all that maybe we might end up paying 60 okay so we still have a fifteen thousand dollar spread so that's kind of how the novation process works now here's the, here's another thing once we have uh an end buyer um on the hook per se uh, let's just say it's listed we get an mls buyer they're approved fha conventional va whatever it is um obviously they go through inspections and all that and once we have that and it's good to go what we're going to do now is have our title company file one more form. It's kind of like an affidavit after the fact, right? But it's not an affidavit of equitable interest. It's not a memorandum. You do those on the front end with the wholesale deal only. We're not doing that on this deal. Um, so after we find a buyer, we actually file one more form. Um, and, the, and the form is is not coming to me right now. But but there's one more form that's it's, it's very similar to um, a memorandum and a, and a um, affidavit of equitable interest. It's similar, but it's not called that. Um, drop me a comment and I'll tell you what that's called. I'll look it up in a little while. Um, but we filed that form and what my, what the title company does, they filed that for us with the county um, and that actually puts a lien on the house. Okay, So obviously an end, end lender for this buyer is not going to pay a wholesale fee, um, but they will pay off all liens. A lien is anything that's filed against the house, like a mortgage is a lien, or some uh, contractors that don't get paid could put mechanical liens or things like that. So what we do is put a lien um, on the house, and it's not called a lien, but it's called something else. Um, so where the end lender actually will pay off all the liens, including our lien, and that's how we get paid at closing. It's not an assignment fee. It's not a double close. It's just this little um, lien fee that they're paying off, and that's how we make our money. So hopefully that makes sense. It gives you a little bit more of an insight on how that deal works, but it's really um, a wholesale and retail deal all in one. It's a blend of it all uh, called Novations. It's not super hard. It's not intimidating. The first one, you know, you might fumble through it a little bit, but that's okay. We fumble through everything at first. You just take action and get it done. And you'll figure it out, okay? And we actually had to teach our title company how to do the first deal. Uh, we were walking them step by step through the whole process, and they were all about it once they did the first one. And then it's like, okay, we can do this. It's no big deal. Because they tried to put 
because they always send us the HUD pre-closing just to make sure that everything's good like a couple days before and they had on there that Stuart Marketing which is my company um, it showed an assignment fee I'm like no you can't do that the lender will never pay that off they're like yeah we were wondering how that would work because we knew they wouldn't pay that off so we told them you know you've got to put it on there uh, you know file that form which they already did so they just had to put it on the form a little differently the HUD the settlement statement they just had to list it differently so that the uh, the actual lender would pay it off because it, now it's a lien instead of an assignment fee. So, anyways, hopefully that gave you some insight on novations. That's pretty much how they work. So, drop me some comments if you got more questions. I'd love to answer those. And like I said, I will do uh, a case study on a deal we just closed. Um, we've done several of these now. I think we have at least eight or nine in escrow right now on novations, and that's eight or nine that we never would have done deals with before. So. Even if that's ten grand a piece, that's eighty or ninety thousand dollars that we typically would have thrown in the trash. So novations are powerful and strong. Um, so if you're not implementing them and you don't know how, drop me some comments. I'll try to answer some questions, but obviously it's you know I can't answer something super long, walk you step by step through the thing. But uh, you know eventually I might do a, a small little mini course just to kind of teach people and have it all in one portal so it's easier to follow and understand. But in the meantime. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share this content if you liked it. And I'll see you on the next one.